Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a big day on EAFC 25, guys, especially because we have that potential first icon upgrade pack SBC of the entire year. But it's not only that SBC that's big today, it's also the market impact that could happen because of it. Fodder, meta cards, where are they going to move? Icons, where are they going to move? We're going to talk all about it in today's video. Plus, we have to look at yesterday's Evo content that has got people spending 200,000 coins on players to put into the Evo for them to become untradeable, as all Evos are. And of course, we're talking more about the market as we are on a Wednesday time period now where we expect a lot of prices to drop, heading into Division Rivals Rewards, where we will chase profits yet again for a Thursday market rise. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it, and of course, subscribe if you are new. First, before we get into all the madness today, let's look at what happened yesterday. Really wasn't a busy day, as expected. Mondays and Tuesdays, once again, really slow days. We did have a new upgrade pack yesterday, though, as Tuesdays have commonly bring brought, and it was the 80 plus times five and it's pretty cheap to do it's only 8,000 coins to get done I think 184 rated player and then like an 82 or an 83 rated squad whatever it was I did it in the blink of an eye it was super easy to do it's worth a shot you might as well now this feels like a downgrade in my opinion from an 82 plus times three even the 83 double I felt was maybe a little better. I like the higher rating guarantee. I don't know about you guys, but this one is just an easy, quick complete because it is super cheap. So that's all there was yesterday in SBCs. The real hype was in Evolutions and, of course, the Rush Mode attached. There's some interesting stuff going on there that we have to talk about, too. But the Evo first, this is where the hype was. The We Play Possession New Evo. It's free. It's great. It's actually really easy to get done, too. You win one match in a rush mode, then you have to win five more, and then you have to assist five goals as well. You can do that in squad battles as well. Just one game, boom, easy done. But the upgrade here is what is really nice. It's sneakily nice because it's actually going to be so helpful in game for a lot of center backs. As you can see, I've already put my Kuti Romero card, who I put into the Sprint Supreme Evolution to give him a pace boost. I put him in here because the passing and dribbling boost, along with the play styles given, Tiki Taka and long ball pass are insane for a center back, especially the boost on passing and dribbling. This takes a Kuti Romero card who had like 50 something passing and 60 something dribbling and actually makes him have the ability to dribble a little bit. 99 reactions and composure and 99 short pass as well. That's insane for a lot of these center back cards and that's how they're getting boosted. Now again, if you take a look at Footbin and you look at this, you see a lot of people are putting this on center backs. Now there's some cards like right mids for silvers and Evo chains. I've, I've seen a couple of midfielders as well inside of here, but center backs are the most commonly upgraded cards in this because they're the ones that usually have the low dribbling and passing to boost them up to 79 over all. So, this is great. Really good Evo, easy to do, lovely upgrade, especially for even future Evos and future potential times to upgrade these cards. Now, the thing that's kind of not good in my opinion about this is some people are seeing an Evo like this for this Vandevin and they're like, oh, sick, this is so worth it, right? If you've packed this card untradeable, by all means, go for it. But if you're going out and spending 180 or 200,000 coins in this card, yesterday he spiked right at content from 170 something up to 200,000 coins because people were buying this card off the market to put it in the evolution. I don't think that's worth it. Guys, of course, you guys know, maybe not everybody does, but Players that go into evolutions, if they're tradable, they're not tradable anymore. They become untradable, right? So spending 200,000 coins on a free Evo for a decent boost, but on a center back like that, I don't know. I think that's really a waste of coins, to be completely honest. The same thing's happening with Ferland Mendy. Guys, this is really a waste of coins, especially for Ferland Mendy. You're getting plus three passing and plus three dribbling, 140, 150K for him. It's just not worth it to do that, in my opinion. Now, again, like I mentioned, if you've packed those players in tradable, absolutely go for it. Or maybe right now you're looking at your club and you're like, Nate, I don't know who to put into this evolution. I would pause on it because there might even be a center back in today's team of the week who fits this evolution that you might want to put into it that is obviously not out right now. So this could be a really good Evo as well to chain in the future with some other upgrades for the dribbling and the passing boost that it gives, especially for a defender a defender, like a key upgrade for a defender where usually there's pretty bad in those stats, this is a really cool Evo. So the only issue I have is that um, some people are spending coins to put 
uh, tradable cards into that evo not a huge fan of that actually i have two issues guys because we also have the rush mode we play possession that kind of correlates with that evolution and the objective too the objective is basically the exact same as the slow it down one that we just had that expired same rewards same requirements and everything else the problem lies within the actual rush mode we play possession because if you take a look at this we play possession mode which i clicked in the wrong things here so boom thank you back out go back into this play drop in the issue with this mode is the requirements minimum 77 dribbling and passing the whole point of that evo the, the we play possession evo was to upgrade a player with low dribbling and low passing and I guess this we play possession Evo is supposed to be when you use that player after you've evolved them. That's how it's kind of set up because minimum 77 in both those categories, you can't use. Like I can't use my Kuti Romero Evo, who I have just started here in that evolution until he's fully upgraded, right? Of course, he doesn't have a minimum 77 in either stat. He doesn't even have minimum 77 after the first upgrade and first challenge that you just have to play one game to do. So... Unless we're missing the point here, I mean, it sounded like and it felt like that this Evo was supposed to kind of come together and be in joint with that rush mode that you would maybe Evo this card in the new rush mode. But that's not exactly how it's working out for most cards because they start with stats too low and they can't get into that evolution with the requirements that it has. I think EA would be able to uh, fix this problem if it's actually a problem for how they we see this at least. If they would have just made this rush mode max 79 dribbling and passing, then it would have been able it would have been given us the ability to evolve all the players that we want to do because they all start below 79, right? So you could have still evolved your players in this, but that's evidently not what EA wanted to do or they messed it up. I'm not entirely sure that just the requirements there don't make a whole lot of sense. So that's kind of the new content from yesterday. I'm playing the rush event in the rush mode because it is fun. You get the double rush points actually yesterday as well. I forgot to mention this, but the regular weekly rush point objectives are refreshed. So I'm on the way to 70 K rush points. We're going to get all of these rewards and open them today or tomorrow. We'll see when we get it done, but I've only got five more of the weep play possession six more games actually to get this one done and then i'm actually pretty close on total rush takeover as well all i need to do is assist in one more game and then assist two more goals so we're almost there this is going to be a fun little pack opening these are decent player picks and decent packs so you might as well go for it in the most fun mode of the game, especially in the midweek. Maybe if you got your rivals games done, a little bit extra time. So that's that content from yesterday. One last thing from yesterday before we move on to the big stuff today on Wednesday is this leak right here which this is an official leak because i believe this was posted by the actual league one twitter account foot sheriff is taking this graphic from them and reposting it sharing the hype of barcola winning the league one player of the month and actually yesterday this caused a bit of a stir on the market because of course you think of barcola and you think of his road to the knockouts card and this card went down in price yesterday He's still down 415 thousand coins he was like 440 450 guys i'm gonna be completely honest whatever player of the month sbc we get for barcola the card will not be as good as an 87 rated version this card remember how big the juiced uh barcola was compared to his gold this road to the knockouts version i would almost guarantee you even if ea do a double upgrade from his 80 rated like a two times in form upgrade he still would not be 87 rated and he probably still will not have stats as good as this one so selling this card even though it's live i don't think is the best idea i think this card is probably going to maintain his price and especially because he has the weak foot upgrade too it might actually look like this one's way better when the player of the month comes out but i would say this sbc should be arriving on Thursday, tomorrow, because that's in years past when the League One Player of the Months were released. So we'll have to see. Um, and it was, again, posted by the official UNFP account. So that is a legit SBC that will be coming soon. I just don't expect it to be insane, even though you've seen some panic selling for Barcola. Now, really quickly, we're going to talk about the market a lot a little bit later in the video. But for right now, yesterday, market synopsis was it was really stagnant, really flat. There was some good trades to be had. But again, it's the icons, heroes, and out-of-pack specials. A lot of the gold cards are staying pretty flat in the market. There's not a whole lot of movements on Mondays and on Tuesdays. It's been like that the past couple of weeks, and that trend continued. But if you haven't sold yet, especially on gold cards, I think it's a good opportunity to sell because today it's probably going to get a little crazy. Even for these total rush cards, if you're trying out any of these, I would be a little bit worried. Supply, 
panic for today's potential content, I would probably get out of some of those cards as well. I'm mostly liquid at the moment. I have two icon flips that I'm still working through. Um, and then we'll have our coins ready to go for a very big day today. Now, why is today a big day? Let's get into it, guys. Today on Wednesday, why are we making a big fuss out of all this, right? Well, of course, last week on Wednesday, we had the first hero upgrade pack of the year, the Max 87 base hero upgrade. And remember, last week we talked about there was no pack code added for this, then it was added, and we knew it was going to be coming. We thought it was either going to be on Wednesday or on Sunday. They dropped it on Wednesday. This SBC expires today. And what is expected to replace it, of course, as we talked in depth about yesterday, is the Max 87 Icon Upgrade Pack. Because it followed the 87 hero last year, right? EA liked to do things year over year very similarly. There's only one issue right now, guys. There is no icon pack in the code. Think about it. There's a Max 87 that is a part of the code now. It was added last week. What we're literally watching out for today on this game in the early hours of the day, in midday, is this to be tweeted from Foot Scoreboard. There's something like this for a he or for an icon pack is what we need to be tweeted and we need to see because if there's no pack added to the code in the few hours before content today the likelihood of us getting the max 87 icon is going to dwindle the longer that that is not out it's going to keep dwindling so we got to watch for that that's going to be the ticket and the key for everything to be going as potentially rumored today right so if it's not added to the code before content, I don't think the SBC is going to be coming. I don't know what EA would do. That'd be a little bit of a surprise, especially for us. But that's how things go sometimes with content. Sometimes it doesn't go how we expect it to go. So we're going to have to kind of play that by ear today. Now, let's talk about them scenarios. If the icon pack does not come out today, what are you going to want to do? You're going to want to sell your fodder. If we get to be like, I don't know. 30 minutes to an hour before content and the, the pack is not added to the code, I bet fodder prices will already be dropping because that would mean in all likelihood that we're not getting an SBC and that would make prices go down. Prices are still up on all of the 85 plus fodder because people are invested. I know a lot of you guys have invested and you're holding these cards for a potential profit. So if the SBC does not come, I think fodder would drop substantially. Like think about all the rises that we had earlier in the week, especially on like Monday, right? Or on Sunday even. These cards were 12,000 coins. Now they're almost 15K. They would probably go back to 12, 13K and people would be losing some coins if we did not get the SBC. Now, if we do get the SBC, then I've, everybody's going to be running to the market to go and buy these 85, 6, 7, maybe 88s, depending on what the SBC requires. Everybody's going to be running to the market to buy these cards, and you will probably want to sell for the quickest and best return in the first hour or two after content for when the SBC is released. I still think, again, I'm a little worried about how many people have invested in this fodder. Again, I know when there's an icon pack, there's going to be so much demand, there's going to be so much hype for the players that you could potentially pack inside of this SBC that so many people are going to go and do it. And if you remember, fodder right now is inflated because last week on Wednesday, you know, 85s, 86s, and 87s were pushed up into demand because of the Max 87 Hero SBC. So fodder is already up a little bit because of that. I think you got to sell on the hype in the first two to three hours, maybe, yeah, three hours maximum after the SBC would drop if it does drop today, because that would also allow you to get the coins on your investment back into your account where you could invest again during division rivals rewards which is always a key time to invest each week so that is one thing i will mention about fodder if you've invested i think those are kind of the two scenarios if the pack comes out sell after content if the pack does not come out and you see that try to sell before content if possible because it probably would drop now to mention these are the best cards that you could potentially pack from the icon pack today maximum 87 rated sort of by price here for guys for these cards Fernando Torres, Zola, Essien all seven to eight hundred thousand coins still plenty of good icons in here that would make a lot of our teams Vidic, Campbell, um, Barnes with technical plus, Perez with finesse shot, Luis Hernandez would be pretty solid even you know so yeah there's not a lot of like insane icons inside of this even though it's the first icon pack of the year this will maybe show you that there's going to be a lot of ian rush and cliverts and keen and probably some verone and larson and hot and right as well uh in these icon packs it's not going to be pretty honestly it's going to be pretty bad i would imagine but there's going to be so much hype if it does drop because it is the first icon pack of the year now with this being said if this drops today, if the SBC drops, one thing I would expect to see is some of these top tier guys in the first row that won't be packable that much 
potentially go up in price. That was something that happened last year, and we saw it happen just last week. If you take a look at Jap Stamps price before content, when we knew the hero was coming last week, he was 830,000 coins. The hero comes out, and by the next day, he's 920k. As people who wanted to pack Jap Stam from that 87 max hero didn't they go back out to the market they get coins from the division rivals and those cards go up so for this top tier especially you could even see some of them rise up after content tomorrow if we do not get or if we do get sorry the icon max 87 sbc so that's the biggest thing they're watching out for today if you want to hear more about it look at yesterday's video if you didn't see that one we talked even more about it there so the second thing that's big about today is we've kind of already covered it but it's worth mentioning again the market as always on Wednesdays, is usually dropping for a number of reasons. Panic selling for the next promo. Maybe there's leaks or there's a big SBC like last week. Last week, we didn't have a lot of panic in the content drop. But once the content came out, we had people that were packing a bunch of new cards from the individual SBCs inside of this. Guys, remember, when we have a two-part SBC like the Max 87 Hero or maybe the Icon today, you had a gold pack and a small gold players pack last week. This pack right here was actually supplying golds a decent amount and made prices go down. An Icon SBC like that would do the exact same thing today. That's one of the reasons bringing supply to the market that the market could drop today. The second reason is, think about it, people who have coins, people who have cards in their team are going to want to sell some of those cards in their team to go afford the fodder to complete the icon pack which is going to make especially a lot of your middle to low tier golds probably drop even more heading into division rivals rewards so that is one thing once again a reason why we've been saying try to sell some cards before the content drop today i think it would impact gold cards the most but it could pack impact most of the market in total with that potential market movement today you have some panic again and you'll have some supply which is going to make some prices go down so if we have that just like we see normally every single week it's really going to be hard to see here on the daily graph but what you see is on wednesdays the market drops down and then on thursdays it goes back up so what are we looking to invest in with division rivals rewards approaching as we move further and further through in the year we always talk about this guys the gold cards have less and less hype and less people are wanting to buy those and they're wanting to buy team of the weeks icons heroes remember last week heroes went bananas on the market so if we're thinking about cards that could be dropping today that we want to invest in we need to look in those similar areas the out of packs cards that have gone up a lot in price already but are rare and could potentially go up even further especially as some of these are alive and there's a lot of hype for them in forums have better stats over the gold cards and there's just more demand for those and there's a lot of less supply so with these cards that are out of packs you would want to look into purchasing them before the actual division rivals rewards time frame because that means you'll probably get a better price then once people start getting rewards the price is going to go straight up because there's no supply on these sorts of cards road to the knockouts team of the weeks those cards would be great to buy before rivals as we maybe see a market drop going down into the rivals rewards time frame so icons heroes special cards and maybe some of the top tier golds too like Puteus, maybe rafa leal maybe bormati vvd human son those cards around the couple hours before Rivals Rewards or maybe right during. Now, during Rivals Rewards, when you have the supply hitting the market from all the packs, you would want to focus on maybe some of the middle tier cards that could get packed and sniped um, that you could get on bid even during that time that could still rise up afterwards that are higher rated, that are in demand a lot. And then at the same time as that, you would probably want to look for total rush cards because these cards are probably going to be dropping today too, but people are going to get their Rivals rewards and coins and want to go try out some of these new big name players that are in this promo team that are really tough to pack right that just means more demand for them on the market and people are trying to buy them and try them out watch for price drops on these cards today they could be big money makers after rivals rewards maybe after an hour or so you could see some drops with supply and then prices going back up so before rewards looking out of pack specials icons and heroes during rewards look at some gold cards and the impacts promo team and the new team of the week that would come out today as well so what other content could we have today on wednesday to shake things up well as i mentioned a new team of the week that's always expected and we do have a few names that are leaked we're not getting a puteus we're getting a hansen card from liga f women's barcelona team we're also getting a trossard Dumfries, garassi shaw soboslai and dragusin international week team of the week's sometimes don't hit very good sometimes they're insane and also dynamic images have been 
sometimes not as consistent with these uh, team of the weeks in the past. I think EA had got more, I think it was last year or two years ago, they got more international um, rights or something like that or licenses. So they were actually able to show action shots from international break. We'll see if that happens uh, this, t this time around for team of the week five, but it doesn't look that crazy. We'll have to see if there's any other last minute additions or any other names that are a part of Team of the Week 5 today, but that would obviously be a part of content. Team of the Week number 5, and there's no other player leaks right now for like a Total Rush SBC player. There might be one more that we get. Like, I wouldn't imagine that we would go today and tomorrow without another Total Rush SBC player. I know we've already had Swanson, we've had a Wobie, we've had Sterling, we've had a couple. Um, I would imagine we get one more. We'll have to see. Watch, watch out for maybe some potential leaks on that. And of course, we gotta be looking out for Total Rush Team 2, because this is once again a two-week promo and we'll probably have new Rush players coming into, uh, obviously we'll have new Rush players coming into packs on Friday, but leaks of who could be coming maybe starting today as well. We're still watching out for that. And I want to end with one last leak that was just posted a couple of hours ago. A new card design has been added to the code. It is most likely Trailblazers. Looks kind of similar to the Trailblazers uh, promo card design from last year. A little bit different. Still kind of like a red-orange like the last year's one was. Um, decent design. Doesn't look too crazy. But once again, this is a two-week Total Rush promo that we are in right now. So I wouldn't imagine that we would be seeing these new cards right away. Probably two weeks down the line or a week and a half technically before we see that card design in. If that is even related to a brand new promo, we'll have to see. So Wednesday content today. Watching out for the icon pack. That's the big SBC, guys. So I'm going to be selling up here, getting some of my uh, coins ready back to go. I don't really have any fodder in the club. Um, I might just be in a place once again this week where I'm looking to do, if there's an icon pack today, looking to do it after we get our division rivals rewards from playing a couple more games. I've already got my rivals rewards locked in. Of course, I'm a five win guy. I am not a 15 win guy. As always, got those rewards locked and loaded. A little bit more rush today. Qualify for weekend league. And we will be ready for another busy time on the market and probably the turning point of the week. Wednesdays have been the turning point of the week in terms of the market and things headed towards Friday where things get massive, of course, with weekend league demand and all the rewards that are coming out. So we're getting to that point where things are going to start kicking off. It's going to be a big day today, guys. So we'll see if EA surprises us. Or if they leave us wanting more, if they don't release the icon pack today, I think a lot of people are going to be bummed, myself included, and that's going to really shake things up in a different way than possible. But I'm thinking the icon pack's in the drop. We'll see. If you want to check that out with us, check the Twitch link down below in the comments. We'll be live at the content drop today, an hour before to start. But leading into the content drop, we'll be watching everything related to the market, maybe playing a couple of games afterwards, depending on how things go. And if you missed any of the streams in the past week, you can always take a look at the uploads on the second channel, TFA2. I'll keep plugging that there. Some of you guys are really enjoying that. So those are kind of some overviews of the streams and, and what we're doing to upgrade the team, kind of following the progress of the account this year. We're almost, almost to 3 million coins. So we're very, very close on that. But big day today on Wednesday, guys. If you're excited for it again, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a YouTube upload tomorrow and on the Twitch stream later today. It's been Nathan with Account. See you there. Peace out.